Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Reed Hello Ade. How you all doing? Uh, this is my first time on this platform this year. I hope the new year met you well. Really, how are you doing uh, with the pandemic and everything that's been happening? I hope you all are keeping safe and doing well. And for the people that have lost loved ones, I really want to say um, the Lord comforts you. And uh, we trust God that he will continue to protect us and um and this he will cause this to pass uh, in his uh in his messes all right so um this year um it's february already and this is a time where we really have our uh, um celebration of love and laughter which is the annual couples event that we uh we organize every year but unfortunately this this uh, this um february uh we've had to postpone the celebration of love and laughter i want to shout out to all the couples that have been attending our event for the last five years i want to use this uh platform to say thank you so much i want to say thank you uh for your support uh five years this year is going to be five years five years of hosting this amazing couples event uh we are still going to have it but right now it's just not possible and our event our couples event is not the uh, one that you have on zoom you know the selling point of our event is you connecting you know having or seeing other couples doing what they do and you encourage you see other couples laugh you see other couples have fun you see uh artists you see a performance uh that uh you see the the performers that come their performance and it's just a buzzing and lit place to be so we're trusting god i'll be able to have that again that this new normal will not take that away from us so we're just trusting god that uh, in the right time we'll be able to have the celebration of love and laughter in um in uh, christian marriages okay so that's out of the way i just want to quickly say thank you to all my subscribers uh, returning subscribers i say thank you and if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that whatever nuggets i share you'll be the first one to get them okay it's february february the month of love right is that what it say right okay before i go into that i want to quickly say that listen every day should be the day of love in your marriage because really you celebrate february and um you forget the other days no you know uh <laughs> valentine is about love right every day you must show love in your marriage every day you must show kindness you must show respect you must show appreciation in your marriage and for some people if you're able to do that that's already valentine for them i was sharing another platform that you know uh, love and respect in the marriage, you know, should be every day. And if you're able to do that, your spouse is happy, you are happy. That is Valentine. What is the use of you buying the roses, the wine, the chocolate, even whatever you buy, the cars and whatever, and you don't love the person, you don't respect the person, you don't appreciate the person. So my message today really is to let you know that, you know, Valentine is every day. You know, showing love to your spouse should be every day. Respecting your spouse should be every day. Appreciating your spouse should be every day. Being kind to your spouse should be every day. Really, if we can cultivate the habit of showing these, you know, attributes, kindness, love, respect, appreciation to our spouse, I'm quite sure marriage will be a better day, uh, a better place. So, please don't make Valentine a one-day celebration. Don't go, just don't go rob the bank, break the bank, and buy the things your spouse like one day. Why not try buy those things that the uh, the books they like to read instead of waiting for Valentine and Christmas? You come in, you have extra change. Buy the books they like to read buy the wine they like to drink, buy the chocolate they like to eat, buy the meat pie they like to eat, buy, you know, uh, whatever they like, the games they like. I'm quite sure if you're able to do that, that's just showcasing that love 
in your marriage also you want to buy all these things paying all this money one day the 14th of uh, february and yet you don't respect uh, your spouse or you're not kind to them why not be kind to your spouse why not you know or uh, show them that kindness you know oh. be a shoulder for them to just you know whatever cry or just you know a go-to for support these days a lot of spouses don't have time to be kind to one another so i'm just saying this because you know sometimes we just think that oh we have to celebrate valentine and just it's like um uh doing it and getting it done really you want to do that maybe your spouse is having another idea of how you can show them love you think buying those things is you showing them love have you taken time out to ask your spouse sweetheart how do you want to be loved have you asked your husband how he wants to be loved have you asked your wife how she wants to be loved okay if you haven't done that that's a very good place to start your valentine all right so like i said this year is a valentine with a difference because a lot of countries are on lockdown so like you would normally have your booking table bookings in the savoy in hilton in hallmark in wherever you like to go eat this year especially in the uk you don't have that so i'm going to be showing you my magic wand and sharing some recipes this valentine with you um i have amazing recipes that i'll be you know um downloading on this very particular channel and i hope when you get those recipes you can also try them in your home and you know one thing that is funny um yes yes valentine really you have your children around because schools are short so you cannot you cannot actually be eating something nice and say the children shouldn't have so some of the recipes i'm gonna be uh, sharing with you these yes valentine is some of the recipes you can actually share with your kids i have something like um stir fried octopus you know that's amazing and it's exotic uh, you can give your children some of that of course obviously it's nice i know my my kids they like they love that uh you have uh, the chicken cream sauce and uh the rusty bread the 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 video for the rusty bread is already on this channel so you can look at that you can actually have that cream chicken uh so soup with uh any bread so i'm going to be sharing that and all the recipes that i'm going to be putting down so really the idea is that instead of you uh feeling uh left out you can just you know like like i normally do uh go there uh, sh uh just look at my recipe and just do something quick tasty and cheap for yourself and your family uh before i close before i go today I just want to let you know that you know intimacy in marriage can be enhanced when you're kind when you are uh, respectful when you are appreciative and when you are just being human to your spouse guys I know you can do this try as much as possible to be kind to your spouse it's very important especially being in the same house with your spouse for 24 hours just a few couples are walking outside the home right now so if you are locked locked in locked down with your spouse try as much as possible to make it work make it work and how you can make it work is to be kind to one another is to remember to be respectful is to remember to uh, to be submissive to one another which uh, the book of Ephesians 5 21 tells us that we submit to one another in reverence to Christ so if you know that your marriage is about God being at the center learn to be submissive to one another also uh, respect one another in the marriage and be kind and you'll see that you will be able to go through lockdown valentine smiling and dusting your hair and say it was a piece of cake i hope you like this video if you do um give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell and above all subscribe if you haven't subscribed bye bye